I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> So today we're going to be taking a look at all three of the newer, the Holiday Hourglass um, Ambient, Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palettes. I'm just going to do a really brief overview of all three. They are made in Italy. They all have beautiful six shades, but they're all different shades. Some of them are newer. Some of them are repeat shades. So I figured we would just sort of dive right in and test them out and see what these palettes are all about. If you're new here, thanks so much for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, tap the bell so you can be notified of all the new upcoming videos. We do a lot of makeup, a lot of new makeup, whether it's high-end or affordable, indie, colorful, neutral, you name it, it's here. So we would love to have you join the fam. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so starting out with this palette, the Butterfly Palette, um, the only, there's three shades that are new. There's the two blushes right here, which are newer shades. And then this strobe, and then this is in the shade Celestial Strobe Lighting Golden Champagne. So these two are finishing powders. I am going to just go in with the Ether Light finishing powder. And then this is the Diffused Light. I have Diffused Light in a single. Not a big fan of it, but... I do want to test out the Etherolite. Mm, that's actually quite pretty. Mm, I really like the way that that is making my face look. And then as far as what's on my face today, I just have my House Labs foundation and powder. Um, I have my Melt brow bundle along with my NYX brow pen and I have the Coco Bold Too Faced on the lips. I have my Charlotte Tilbury contour stick and the Huda Beauty palette on the eyes. But I really really like the way that like, it's not emphasizing any wrinkles or pores, this Ether Light Diffusing Powder. Now, I know I'm not a big fan of this one. I do already have it, and it, I really, it just doesn't do much for me. I mean, we can, like, it's a little bit more glowy. See how? And that's the Diffuse Light one. So, I prefer the Ether Light. So, now I'm going to go in with one blush on this side, the other blush on this side. And then we'll top it off with the highlighter. Mm, actually, maybe what I'll do is I will... I'm going in with this blush first. Right here. That is stunning. And now I'm going to go in with a different brush and this blush right here. Okay, so this is definitely, here they are swatched, very similar. This is the shade down below and this is the shade on top. I would have to say that this is a little, and what are these called? So Sunset Glow is the one on the bottom. And then Soft Flush is the one on the top. And I'd have to say that Sunset Glow is definitely more of a corally pink. And then Soft Flush is more of a like rosy berry pink. And Soft Flush is definitely a little bit more opaque, whereas Soft Sunset Glow is 
a little more luminous, a little bit more transparent. They're both really, really beautiful. I'm just going to go in with more of the soft flush. And I do like how that like sort of seamlessly goes together. If I were to do this again, I would probably put soft flush on the bottom as sort of a contour blush and then sunset glow all across the cheekbone. All right, and now I'm just gonna go in with the metallic strobe lighting powder. using my rougher 16 and let me just swatch this I do love I have the whole three pan metallic strobe lighting but this is like a new shade I guess and oh my goodness wow that is absolutely gorgeous at first I thought I wanted to maybe get rid of this one and just keep the elephant and the tiger but now this is really going to be a tough decision that is freaking gorgeous i just want to put a little bit of that oh all right so so pretty and then this shade right here number two is the strobe powder and in incandescent light which is also very beautiful. So if you want like a real glow to your face, then I definitely would suggest using something like this. Let's just put this, see, see how that kind of woo highlights like, I probably didn't want to put that there, but We can sort of smooth out that blush area with the strobe powder. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now moving on to the Tiger palette. I just took out the butterfly again. I am super excited to test this one out because I don't really have anything like this in my collection from Hourglass or just in my collection period. I'm trying to think of face palettes and I mean the artwork on all of these is just so 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 beautiful. So this shade right here is a repeat shade. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder and Warm Sienna and then the Metallic Strobe Light in Copper which is Copper Shine. This one right here this is a new shade. The Burnished Glow Ambient Lighting Blush is a new shade. The Iridescent Rose Blush is a repeat shade, but still really pretty. Ooh, I love that actually. This is a new metallic strobe lighting palette in True Gold. So we have four new shades and then we have this one which is an intense uh, ambient metallic strobe lighting powder in copper flash strobe light so a lot to play with in this one a lot um so I think first I'm just gonna go in even though this is a repeat shade I do want to test it out as a bronzer and I'm just gonna do that over I can find my Bronzer over on this side of the face where we have the butterfly palette. Just want to test this out because I don't have any of the, I didn't end up getting that deeper palette when they came out with it just because I still felt like it was pretty like limited as far as the colors. I still wasn't that happy with it, but if it comes, you know, if I can get something like this, see, this is even a little bit too deep for me but it's still really pretty. Let's put it on the head. It definitely warms things up a bit. That's actually 
actually really pretty. Like for somebody like me, I can use it as a bronzer or like a contour shade, even though it's actually technically a finishing powder. It's still really pretty. So let me just swatch these two side by side because they're both new shades, but one is just a strobe and then one is the metallic. Okay, so this is the metallic one, and it's definitely like more blingy, but the other one is not bad either as a highlight. So if you're somebody who wants more of a not natural soft highlight, then you'd probably want to go in with this shade. Um, but then you also have this shade as well. So I, I like the options there. I am going to go in with... <clears throat> this blush just because it's ooh, it's one of the newer shades I'm just using my rougher four and I'm just tapping that on the back of my hand because I'm not sure how pigmented these are oh actually that's not Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that's just so pretty. I'm not sure how you would use this, if you would do it on top or underneath. It's a little bit dark, I think, for over top, but let's let's try it out. Yeah, see, it's a little bit darker. So it's almost like I think you would wear this as a blush or like as an under blush like a contour blush yeah that's how you would do it so you would put this shade underneath and this shade on top mm, that is really pretty though I am gonna go in with this as a highlight shade That is so pretty and then I'm just gonna top it off with this just to like tone it down a little bit because <laughs> we are glowing and then I also want to blend that out a little bit I'm gonna go back in with this over top of everything Wow I think though out of the whole palette the two blushes even though this is an existing shade are my favorite and I really do like this as a finishing or bronzing powder as well but that's that's so beautiful okay so again the butterfly and the tiger palette okay we are back for our third and final elephant palette Makeup is redone. You can tell from the powder in my hairline that I just reapplied everything really fast. Um, the things that I do for you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and comment down below your thoughts on all of these palettes. All right, so last but not least, this is my most anticipated. This was like the one that I was like, okay, if I'm only going to get one, which money-wise, I was like, I can only afford one of these. I mean, they're $85 each, but I was like, if I'm only going to get one, <clears throat> what one would I want to get? And I really was like, okay, the elephant, the elephant for sure. <sighs> but then I started looking at other people's reviews and I was like, mm. and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get all three. And so in this one, we have four new shades. We have two new blushes we have the metallic strobe lighting powder in beaming strobe light golden sun and then we have an ambient bronzing powder which i'm super excited to try in lustrous bronze light we have the two new brushes right here in radiant rose and iridescent coral and then we have like i said the two finishing powders in dim light and soft light 
dim light, soft light, and then the blushes we have radiant rose and iridescent coral. So first I am going to start off first with the um, the bronzing, the new lustrous bronze light right here. And I'm just like looking down because I don't want to mess up the names of any of these. And I'm just going in with my Luxie bronzing brush. And I'm going to put, oh, that's so pretty. Mmm. What a beautiful, like, unique bronzing shade. It's almost like a blush, but it's not. How pretty is that? Whew. That is so gorgeous. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that this side. Well, actually, we'll go in both sides. We will. We'll go on both sides with the bronzer this with the warm sienna finishing powder from the tiger palette oh what a killer combination okay how freaking beautiful is that i just i can't i can't stop i can't stop so pretty such a beautiful beautiful bronzer like definitely warmer tone though so if you're not a fan of warmer tones then I do not recommend so here are the two finishing powders we have dim light and soft light which I do want to I do want to go in with I think I have dim light and I don't I don't like it so I'm gonna go in with soft light that's actually really pretty I do want to try out dim light maybe I don't have Dim light. I don't remember which one that I have. I have a couple of them. That's really pretty too. I'm gonna go ahead and add this underneath of the eyes. So soft light's definitely like a warmer touch and dim light is definitely more of like an iridescent sort of a Vibe. I think I like soft light better. It's a little bit more matte. But again, these are not new shades. So now let's go in with some of these newer shades. I'm going to go in with the Iridescent Coral. first hmm it's definitely like a pink to orangey like sort of it's more citrus or like sunset than I was expecting thought it was gonna lean more on the coral side but it leans more on like the sunset sort of highlight side still really pretty Um, now on this side, I'm just going to go in with the Radiant Rose. Hmm. Not as, oh, as like opaque as I thought it was going to be, but it's still really, really pretty. I think I need a different brush because this is just, it's not... I want to use my rougher brush, but I don't want any of the other shade to go. Something about this rougher brush, it just picks up blood. I need to get another one, number four. It just picks up the blushes in such an amazing way. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, I love the Radiant. I love this one. You know why? Because it's like that pink. You guys know I love that pink. I was really expecting to like love both of these, which this is beautiful, but I feel like I kind of already have this in my collection. Um, I feel like it's very similar to some NARS shades I have. And I just, I mean, same with this one. Ooh, I like this a lot. All right, I think I'm going to now go over the Radiant with the Coral shade and see what that looks like. Okay, now going in with the Iridescent Coral. Sort of combining those two. And it's not, it's still staying pretty, like it's not going to that. It's still staying like pretty, pretty much the Radiant Rose. All right, now I'm going to go in with the metallic strobe light wow this is definitely the most golden one i think out of all of them this definitely is like a a more true gold i kind of would have liked the one that's in the other palette in this one because I feel like this is a little bit it goes really good with this side but it's a little bit too gold for the radiant rose side well actually it doesn't really doesn't really show as gold that much Whew. all right now I'm just gonna go in with some of the soft light because I want to tone that this down a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to mix these two together. Because I don't want to tone it down too much, but... Huh, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit surprised. Like, I really thought I was going to like the blushes out of this one the most like I was looking forward to this palette the most I do love this bronzer though this bronzer is absolutely gorgeous this bronzer mixed with the one the palette from last year uh do I have that let me just show you guys I think I have that was it last year or the year before no I don't remember this one right here let me just I feel like these two bronzers together so and that's like what hourglass does it never it never just, or no, this isn't the one. This is the one I did not like. That's right. Wrong palette. It was from la the year before that, the holiday palette they came out with. That bronzer, and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. I have it because I use it all the time. I don't think I have it in here. Let me just double check. No, it's tucked away somewhere. I was trying to get organized. Um, so anyway, that palette, not, not last year's holiday palette, the other one, cause I wasn't really that big of a fan. Like I feel like I wish I hadn't even gotten last year's and I had just saved myself for this year's because you guys, I'm running into a problem here because I would probably not keep the elephant <sighs> only because I just am not blown away the blush shades, but I really love the bronzer shade in this. So that's like what's making me like want to keep it. The butterfly palette, I really, really liked the strobe light in there. And I also really liked the, um, the ether light finishing powder. I don't have that. I don't think I have that. I'll have to double check. I feel like if you're new to Hourglass, then the Butterfly Palette is a really, really beautiful palette. And you get a little bit of everything except for you don't get a bronzer. The Tiger Palette is definitely going to be for your, like, deeper, like, 
va va boom sort of a, a blush like it's got that burnt orange blush shade that's absolutely gorgeous uh so pretty but the other shades I wasn't that blown away with so like I would say the warm sienna which is not a new shade finishing powder and the orange blush are really what I love out of the tiger palette and the uh iridescent rose but that's a repaint shade but I do really like that one as well and then this one I'm just kind of like if this didn't have the bronzer, I would probably not keep this one. So my final thoughts on these palettes are they are all beautiful. And I don't care what you say, even if you're not an Hourglass fa fan, these are like some of their finest work. I think these are some of their best face palettes I've ever tried. And I am not one to just jump. I'm not one of those hourglass stands that's like hourglass, hourglass, I have to have it all. Um, because I think they're a little bit overpriced, quite honestly. Some of their products are gorgeous and absolutely worth the money, and some of them are not. And I think that these are, I know, $85. I think these are definitely worth the money, all three. If I had to return one, I don't even think I could choose which one. I guess it would just depend like if if it's somebody who has all of the shades in the like a lot of the shades from the butterfly palette but I don't see I don't have that one finishing powder which one am I keep I was supposed to not keep all three of these and I think you guys help me decide help me decide Comment down below which one do you like the most? Which one do you think? Meh, like which, what do you think? What one did you like best on me? <sighs> it's so hard. I really think these are worth the money. Could they have gone down? Like, would they have been like an automatic, like $85 is a lot. But I do think that these are really pretty shades and some of their finest work and like the artwork is really pretty. And also I dropped my butter one, fly one like five times and it's still intact. So I don't know that I would get that same effect with other face palettes. Um, but yeah, I need to know what you guys' thoughts are. Did you pick any of these up? Are you going to, which one should I keep? What should I return? Let me know down in the comments below. <sighs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and comment which ones you guys like the least or most. And yeah. All right, guys, I will see you all in my next video.